Uh, good morning. Good morning. What is, the, what is the prop today? I gotta know. This is for, we're training our dog, and the trainer has this. Anytime the dog barks, you spray it. Oh, and that keeps the dog from barking? It keeps the dog from barking. Yeah. It won't. You just, and then That's you, it. That makes him stop bark. That's it? That's all you gotta do. You have to put the electric collar on him. No, if he goes bark, if he barks. <laughs> he barked. I don't bark. We'll be right back. <laughs> It's not Honor Monday, is it? Because that wasn't very honoring. I apologize. That Good was, morning. That was rude. Good morning, everyone. Welcome, Welcome to, wake to Wake Up. Welcome to Wake Up. Where we wake up. up. We got a scripture today. I'm and Pastor we got... Jason. I was talking. I need the bottle now. <laughs> Where's that water? Where's that water bottle? <laughs> that's squirt me. <laughs> I'm Pastor Scott. You have a little something right here. You still have some water <laughs> on Pastor me? Jason. <laughs> and we got a great show for you. Prayer, a scripture. Yeah. And, um, well, I want to read out, out of Philippians chapter 2 again. So yesterday we were reading out of the Message Bible. All right. Or not yesterday, uh, Wednesday. And uh, today I want to read this Philippians chapter 2 and verse 13 out of the New King James. Uh, it says this, to do all, verse 14, do all things without complaining or disputing. I love that. How many things? Some things. All things. Well, once in a while. Oh, no, do all things without arguing things or Things that I want to do. Are you arguing with me? No, I'm just, I'm just wondering, how many things do you do? All of them, without arguing or complaining. When you do but, something, but, do it. it without arguing now, or complaining. I do, if I'm I not going to argue with you. If I have to do something I don't want to do. Then you should, you should just do whatever I you want to do. I don't know if I even This is dumb. This I, is dumb. This I agree. is stupid. I agree. Actually, I'm complaining about the scripture. That's what made that fun. <laughs> I refuse to argue. <laughs> I'm doing all things without arguing. And I'm doing everything arguing. <laughs> And so that's a great word, going into your day and doing not some of the things. You know, as, you, as your kids are growing up, they have the things, wow. go play video games. They're like, oh, yeah, go do the trash. Well, why do I have to do the trash? Right and now. we're training them to yeah. do all things without, without, our, without being annoyed. But, but instead, as we talked about yesterday, having some enthusiasm, being joy. When you go to your yeah. job, if you're enthusiastic, it makes your day a whole lot better. You're smarter. You're doing, making better decisions. Everything is better when you have well, enthusiasm. Who doesn't complain about their job? I, I mean, don't just, complain about my job. Just think about that for a second. Yeah. Like, who doesn't complain? About, everybody complains about their job. Like, mm -hmm. even just the idea that I've got to get up on a, I mean, this week was President's Day, so a lot of people didn't have to get up on Monday morning. But you've got to get up on a Monday morning, and you've had a, a, the weekend, and, and, and you're like, ah, oh, I, I don't want a job. Wanna, and then kids do it. They're like, i got to go to school today. Mm -hmm. i got to go to, on that professor. Oh, my gosh, I hate my history class. Mm -hmm. Math and then we I all get complain the, about everything. I mean, uh, the the, 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 the car, food comes. The, you you're eating, and you're who's, who's the worst at complaining about food? You are. <laughs> I'm gonna remember this scripture the next time we're eating somewhere. Just bring it right. That's <laughs> all. No, you should I hear like him. Complain. No, you have to hear him order something. No, you have to hear Stop him it. order. Stop he, it. He goes. He goes. Okay, I want this. You did this the other night. It was a Saturday <laughs> night. It was after church. We went out to Outback Steakhouse. The wives were gone somewhere. I don't remember oh, where they yeah, were. Was, yeah, yeah. And you were like, I want this such and such salad. Uh, and then you changed everything about it except for the lettuce. I actually had him go to McDonald's. And get, get, get you go, I want the salad, but instead of the chicken, I want a uh, sliced steak. Here's, here's how you I order. don't want any Parmesan cheese, but I want the little pine nuts that come in this <laughs> other salad. And then he, he like built like this whole thing. And I need the dressing on the side. You seriously, no, no, no. I was it's, exhausted. It's a blue cheese salad, but I don't want blue cheese dressing, but I still want the crumbles on it. And I want you to add ranch, ranch to it, but then I, I know it's a wedge salad, but I want you to chop it up. And then I want you to take the Outback Special Steak. I want that medium, but I also want that sliced up, and then yeah. I want that on top of it. You are. You're picky. No, no. I, but you don't, I don't know that you complain. You're always really nice. Yeah. But, but we all complain about everything. Everything in life. Everybody complains about whatever they But this doing. is telling us to do all things. It's interesting. It's, it is. Without complaining, without complaining about your spouse, without complaining about not having a spouse. Oh, wow. Without complaining about your kids, without complaining about That's your That's interesting about complaining about not having a spouse, that you brought that up. That's interesting to me because you're right. Sometimes uh, single people are complaining about, I'm alone and I'm tired of being alone and I want to meet the right person and, I, and I'm tired of meeting the wrong person. But then uh, married people uh, complain about being married. <laughs> right? 
Right? Both sides are all... The complaining married people should talk to the complaining single people. And yet together, like, you know, there's like, some things that you got that I ain't got. We always complain about whatever, well, I just want a house. I'm in an apartment. Mm -hmm. But then you get a house, and you're like, yeah. well, I just want a bigger house. It's, yeah, so there's always Well, now I got to do yard work? You know how nice it was? I heard somebody was like, you know how nice it was? Just yeah. have an apartment. They moved back into an apartment. They're like, I don't have to worry about the yard work. I don't have to do the pool's all done. Yeah. And My wife is always complaining about having to mow the lawn. I'm like, do all things. <laughs> Without arguing, complaining. Oh my God. Change the oil on the car, mow, mow the, the lawn. lawn, and paint. Right. I got the little fake grass. I know you do. I did. I love the fake grass because you don't do anything. I did. I, I, I <laughs> and I told my neighbor the other day, I was like, yeah, I, I just got done mowing that. And then he laughed at me. And he was, <laughs> it's always the perfect time. But then he wasn't sure if I was kidding or not. He was like, did you, you didn't really mow that, did you? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I complained about it the whole Actually, time. Actually, you should tell him, yeah, I pay a guy. A couple hundred bucks a month, he comes out and mows it, keeps it perfect. <laughs> He's like, I'll do that for you. <laughs> right? You it's always me. the same length. It's always, it's always green. Do all things without complaining or arguing. It, you know, what it, if you did that? What would a day look like if you didn't complain at all? What if everybody, we, we do a wake-up challenge we've never done before. We challenge you for this day. It's a wake-up challenge. A wake-up challenge. For what the if, whole day, yeah. don't complain about one thing. And then Facebook us and let us know at the end of the day. You know, can I just share like a, a crazy bit of wisdom? I learned this in my 20s is that if you if you come home and you complain to your spouse about whatever you were doing that day. Oh, he's no good. Over time your spouse will hate what you yeah. do. Especially husbands out there because the wife was meant no, to be No, boy, you got to hear this. She's meant to be the the soil. So you plant seeds. You plant seeds and so you talk about your boss and mainly for men we get over it by tomorrow. We're good. Right, we're good. The yeah, boss. We say it. We right. unload. We and complain. Then six months later, never believe what happened she today. She hates your job. She hates you going to the job. She hates your boss. She hates all of us. She'll start like, fighting against the thing that would 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 actually make you successful, mm -hmm. because we need to be encouraged. People need to be encouraged in their work. They need to be encouraged in the morning. Go get them. I love yeah. that. I love that Spider Man when when. Uh, oh, that's. Your, I love that line. What is that? Go get him, Tiger. Yeah, go get him. When, when he's, yeah, he had to get ready. He was going to work. They were just got a little kiss, and then all of a sudden he heard sirens, and he's like, "What do I do?" You know, like he's, like he's, he's having a romantic moment with he's his like, girl. What do I do? And she's like, "But he heard the sirens." And she says, "Go get him, tiger!" And you and every oh my man gosh. in the place, I, oh. we got we got chills, and we were like, "Oh my god!" Go get him, tiger! Because she wants him to be successful, but sometimes we work against our husband's success. Though we want him to be successful, we're working against his success. Yeah. You but but the, the people do it because also they come home and complain and complain and complain, complain about the work. Well, they don't even want you to go to work now. No. Stay home. Why do you want to go this And also what it, how it impacts the atmosphere. I come home complaining or I come home encouraging. You can build up your home when you get home tonight or you can tear it down. You can make it an enthusiastic, exciting place to be for your kids and for your spouse or whoever's there. You can make it enthusiastic and make it great or you can bring it down. I say bring it great. Yeah. Our challenge for today, you want to pray? I do. I do. I was just thinking about how on Wednesday I was complaining that there's never coffee in here. <laughs> you did complain about that. I did. I, I was, I'm a sinner. <laughs> what we're going to do today without I, complaining. Today I'm not complaining about it. I'm happy there's no coffee in there. Yeah, this is so great. Let's, I love not having coffee do we, in there. I noticed the girls, uh, uh, they pray with their eyes closed. Did you like that? I didn't think I did. It was creepy. I don't know how to do it. I, I, for some reason I always pray with my eyes open. Even on Sundays I pray with my eyes open. I do too. Especially when I pray for somebody. <laughs> So creeped out by that. <laughs> Why don't you email us and let us know which one you which prefer? Which one? Yeah, let's do a vote. Oh, wake up vote. We want to wake up Because the power in the prayer is not eyes closed or open. It's in the words. You know what's funny about putting it, at, putting it at the end? We'll find out how many people make it to the end of the show. <laughs> we get one vote. It's just Al. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. Yeah. Good. Eyes open, bro. <laughs> I tried to pause it, but it wouldn't. Try to get out of it. But Somebody it right playing. now is like, wrap it up, man. Just wrap up the show. Even <laughs> right. the camera people are walking around. They're like, what are you doing? We're going a minute Pray. 52 seconds beyond Pray. the limit. Father God, I thank you and praise you, Lord, for today. I ask, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that you would keep us encouraging and not complaining or arguing today, Lord. Let this be a reminder to us today, Father God, that we can be an encouragers to everybody around us by building others up and by talking about the good. We're feeding on your faithfulness. In the name of Jesus, Lord, every day might be the kind of day that we could say, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. God bless you guys. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up, share it, and we will see you this weekend. Don't miss church. It's so important of having an important part of having an incredible life. Be That's blessed. Right. In, in a car, it takes a spark and some gasoline to provide combustion. In you and I, I have to have that same spark on the inside of me. I have to have that energy in me that sparks a movement. I get up in the morning, and there is, I'm, I'm moving in a direction. I'm going in this. I got that momentum going because I tapped into the energy. The Word of God is the fuel.
Let people know that you are God's Corvette. And unless you push, come on, unless you punch it, it has to be on purpose of pushing the gas down. It's the on purpose that provides and takes the energy that's already in it and provides it a thrust that goes into the life. And you and I have to punch it in the morning. we got to punch it when we walk in the room. We want to be those people who are so enthusiastic that people are like, what in the world is going on with you? Oh, i got Jesus Christ inside of me. I can't stop. i got to share it. i got to be alive. Bye.